Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, food liquor, shills, devs, lacers, peasants, vassals, minions. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to do a, a follow up on the uh, strikes begin in Syria uh, with the United States. We've got a little bit more information now and uh, it continues to be an interesting uh, thing to watch. So we have the United States and this uh, coalition. And as it turns out, I have confirmation that Bahrain, Jordan, the United Arab, Arab Emirates, and the United States all provided uh, jet fighters and conducted airstrikes, although reports are that Jordan uh, merely struck uh, sites within its own country, not on Syrian soil, uh, but ISIS uh, crossing points. So, uh, so we have four uh, nations involved uh, so far in combat. Uh, France nowhere to be seen, and uh, Saudi Arabia and, and Qatar supplying some sort of support, although there hasn't been any mention of any airstrikes conducted by those countries yet. Um, but they're, uh, they're busy bankrolling uh, this, probably, and, uh, so, and they hedge their bets, too, because both Saudi Arabia and Qatar, of course, the, the governments fund uh, all the uh, coalition forces, so-called coalition forces, and then private uh, uh, donors in Saudi Arabia and Qatar are actually uh, funding and supplying the uh, opposition, ISIS. So, interesting dynamic there. And a uh, hat tip to my uh, subscriber, Rogier, um, who told me that uh, now it turns out uh, Netherlands is going to join the coalition with uh, six fighters. So, uh, quite a formidable alliance that the United States is uh, putting together with these uh, military powerhouses like Bahrain, Jordan, uh, the United Arab Emirates and the uh, Netherlands, and then uh, somewhere to be seen uh, will be France. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to their second airstrike. And uh, word uh, has it on the first day there was uh, 200 strikes, and this was uh, Tomahawk missiles, bombers, and uh, fighters. And uh, so kind of a uh, aw shucks and aw campaign uh, going into Syria. And uh, one of the, the strangest things right now, and uh, no surprise, uh, El Nusra Front is uh, wondering what's going on because they were the targets of uh, coalition forces as well. And um, ironically now, uh, ISIS is such a great boogeyman. And um, we have the situation in Syria where the Al-Qaeda element, the El Nusra Front, are now kind of like the good guys. So how the hell would that happen? And uh, so they're wondering why they're being bombed, too. So now we're going to have uh, the United States with more perplexing, uh, confusing foreign policy, where they're going to go in and take out ISIS targets and al-Nusra targets, the only uh, feasible opposition to the Assad government, and try and construct some kind of new, uh, moderate uh, rebel army, which, uh, of course, everyone knows I already commented on in, in some manner. Uh, I'll attach below a pretty comical uh, article that came out in the New Yorker that uh, talks about how to, uh, an application form, uh, if you want to be a moderate rebel in Syria, uh, quite humorous. So we have all the uh, usual international grumblings, uh, the obligatory uh, statements from the usual players, including Russia and China and the Eurozone, etc., all taking their uh, predictable positions, but uh, nothing substantial there, just playing to their base and uh, making the obligatory statements. And, uh, and then, uh, of course, the, uh, the worst part of this whole scenario right now is we already have the Pentagon, where they have a, 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 a massive amount of support among the American people for this, uh, this new war. And um, unfortunately, now the Pentagon is letting us know that this is going to go on for years. So everybody settle down. Uh, this is only day two of the new war. And uh, one of the other things I've noticed uh, watching the media of course, is all the neocons are just besides themselves uh, finally being able to, to label something Obama's war. and uh, No longer can it be uh, laid at the uh, foot of Bush, but there, there's two parts about that that are, that are interesting. One, the fact that, well, they're right. Uh, this is Obama's war. As Colin Powell said, you break it, you own it. And um, <clears throat> that is what's happening here. So that's very, very true, but uh, the other thing I like about it is that in an underhanded uh, reptilian way, uh, the GOP has acknowledged that all the uh, uh, shitty quagmires 
uh, all over the Middle East that uh, George Bush left behind did in fact exist and that Bush was responsible. But uh, hey, uh, Obama, way to go. I think this will be a crowning achievement when people look back and think about your Nobel Peace Prize. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.